knuckle-hardened machine of the Cold War. After World War II, the Soviet Union races against the West to develop the most powerful armed forces in the world. This is why they have the big parades in Red Square and all the rest of it, to show the, the peoples of the Soviet Union, but to also show the peoples of the world that this is a country that is powerful, that has lots of rockets, lots of artillery pieces, vast numbers of tanks, huge numbers of men, and that anyone who tries to take them on does so at their peril. Russia goes on to build a formidable series of tanks that become the most heavily produced in the world. And they come into our top 10 at number seven, the T-54-55. Max armor thickness, 205 millimeter. Max speed, 31 miles per hour. Primary armament, 100 millimeter gun. Combat weight, 36 tons. During the 1950s, Russia's T-54 and its later version, the T-55, are built for when the Cold War heats up. These were items that were going to be used in huge tank attacks on a grand scale. They saw it as an offensive weapon, not as a defensive weapon. The T-54-55 is a development of the legendary T-34, a tank which helps secure Russia's victory against Nazi Germany. It had a development of the V2 500 horsepower diesel engine that had been used in the T-34, but uprated, but still quite a simple design using pretty much the same um, suspension system and track system as used on the T-34. As well as improved mechanics, there's also another crucial upgrade, firepower. It featured a new, much more impressive, much more powerful 100 millimeter gun in a three-man turret. So we have the commander, the gunner, and the tank loader all in the turret. So in many ways, it was a conventional design. The Soviet Union intends to create the biggest tank army the world has ever seen, and the T-54-55 is designed with mass production in mind. Simple to operate and cheap to make, these Soviet machines are also produced by other countries around the world. Used by the North Vietnamese Army and sold to armies in the Middle East, in Africa, they play a key role in numerous conflicts. And in 2003, they're used by all-woman tank crews in Iraq. To date, over 95,000 have been produced. The position of the T-55 in the history of tanks is quite secure. It is the most produced tank in history. The T-54-55 comes into our top 10 tanks at number seven.